Hey guys, it is Ryan Bridger Bugman, and this is not my headquarters. Hey, I am heading into an event today at the Pennsylvania State Capitol. This is a conservation event that is geared towards invertebrates, um, focused all on bugs and insects and all the invertebrates going on. You know, the stuff that people generally don't like, the stuff that gets ignored. We are here and invited VIP to an event in the rotunda where we're gonna meet up with legislators. We're gonna meet up with some of the big shots. We might even meet the governor. Um, either way, it's gonna be a cool opportunity, a really awesome event. And we're here because we educate about bugs and insects. Brought the live bugs, so Kevin, Penelope, the hissers, all the fun stuff is here. And if we're lucky, we're gonna get some legislators, maybe some of those big shots down here and we're gonna let them hold and engage the live bugs to learn just how cool bugs and insects truly are. And most of all, we're gonna let them find out how important this stuff is. So yeah, we're here at the Pennsylvania State Capitol. It's gonna be an awesome day. Stay with me guys, gonna get fun. Yeah, go ahead. What I do is I educate yeah, everybody, all ages. The I have to go all over the country and educate them. All over the country kind of does what I do. That would so freak me what we do is we go out to schools and libraries, um, pretty much all ages, and we promote all the good, positive aspects about bugs and insects because people generally love to hate bugs, and it's easy to be afraid of what we don't understand. So I get the cool job of going out and I get to promote them and teach people the realities of nature. Realities, realities like, like big scorpions. Big scorpions. The large scorpions are totally hurt. They don't hurt anybody. People don't want to believe it. People want to believe the big bugs are bad. Little scorpions, little bees, See now, the funny thing is out of all of these, I think the cockroaches are the most disgusting. So how and they're the ones that get hurt. Yeah. But they're, and there's just something about a cockroach that just... This thing's got like this weird cooler thing on its back, but apparently it doesn't sting. It sends out a smell that's just like vinegar. So that other... You meet a lot of critters in Harrisburg. <laughs> Sarah, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> now you, you now you ready to you ready to take it up a level? Well, which, well that all depends. Oh. Who are we looking at? She is a rose and tarantula. She's 22 years old. She is cool, isn't it? She awesome. So this isn't a true scorpion. This is Vincent. These guys are so cool. 
is they have no bite, no pinch, no, no ability to hurt anybody. They're not a true scorpion, so they don't glow. And, oh. in, and instead of a stinger, he has a tube that comes off the tail. He can make a smell that smells like vinegar. So if, well, you, if, so if you smell like vinegar, animals don't eat you. That's true, because they think you've spoiled Oh, okay. Gone out. So the idea is, and it's an acetic acid, so if it gets in your eyes and nose, it burns and creates an irritation. So that's the only way he can hurt anybody, and he really doesn't hurt in general. Yep. I, it's I, I all about, he's got the one leg. All about staying okay. alive. These are modified front legs. Those are not okay. antenna. Okay. Eight legs, nine body parts. Oh, yeah. These aren't even pinchers. Those yeah. are actually pure. I'm not doing that. Are you crazy? We'll get you in on some of this. We'll get you on some bugs. And here's the here's the cool part. When you put them under ultraviolet light, you're going to glow. All the true scorpions, all the true scorpions glow. So when I go to the rainforest, I go out in the desert, I look at the nighttime, make them glow. Do they get to do that all over the world? Hold on, I'm going to hold it. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> they're soft as a kitten too. They're not they're not spiky and spiny and scratchy. They're soft as a kitten. Soft as a kitten. They're amazing. Thank you very much. You want the whole thing to pull? Where's the head? Up here. That's why I'm facing away from it. So that's like, I'm just keeping it from walking away. That's just way to change the color. That's all they And what they'll do is they'll literally lay down their hands and fall asleep. Oh, for whatever you do. Yeah, they'll lay away. I'll do it with you, yeah. You have to put your stuff down. <laughs> Doesn't get any better. And that's, guys, that's, a, that's about as excitable as it gets. Uh -huh. Yep. I'll push her back up. <laughs> Yeah, give me two hands there and wow. see if she'll sit. There you go. Now, what if these two, you threw them in the same... Um, as, as predators, she would probably try to get away because they're not aggressive. Um, normally, he wouldn't be either, but if he were hungry and he detected a possible food source, he'd probably grab her and try to eat her. But even her bite is not going to do much to him because the venom just isn't that big a deal. Nice and flat, that way they can lay their belly down and get warm. That's all they're trying to do. He's shifting, he's just trying to get warm. And again, they all blow. Well, even if they did, the venom isn't built for us. So the bigger the scorpion is, the less harmful they are. Oh, wow. That's, that's the harmful nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hollywood doesn't want to see the tornadoes. 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 Hollywood doesn't it's, it's inherent that we like control and contain them, but you don't have to. She'll lay there and fall asleep. That's what she wants to do. She said, no, I want to run. Nah, she doesn't want to run. She wants to sleep. Wow. Soft as a kitten. Aww. You ready for this? Yeah. I'm going to guess that I'm going to bite. No. No deadly tarantulas anywhere. Nobody ever did a snake in the bite. And the, longer she's, the longer she stays there, she'll probably grow up and fall asleep in your hands. Because that's really, this is what they want to do. They're not, there's no running and jumping and biting. The little black dot up on top. Yeah. Four eyes, eight eyes right there. See, she's going to curl up in the ball and literally fall asleep. Yeah. All the, all the horrible things we think we're supposed to have. It's all Halloween. We're all brainless. We're talking about some of the most important organisms in the, in the world. These, these things are the base of the food chain. Everything on the planet needs bugs and insects. Wow, man. I seriously cannot tell you how cool this was. Uh, thank you so much, Nate, for bringing us out here. Um, Xerxes Society, Penn State Entomology, uh, me and Nate Regal were all out here. Uh, Nate is our political connection. Uh, he's the guy in there trying to do a lot of the footwork. 
uh, to get some of this legislation through to promote conservation for invertebrates. Uh, man, what an outstanding day. A group of totally amazing people and needless to say, you saw it, man. The people coming by, the legislators, the folks, even visitors to the Capitol today were swinging by and checking out the live bugs and loving all the education. Uh, I'm pretty sure we connected on a whole bunch of cool levels today. Uh, we have certainly taught a lot of people a lot of cool stuff. And I watched people come up to those tables with utter disdain and leave the tables loving the live bugs in all the good ways possible. That is what we do, man. So guys, I hope you like this. Uh, I hope you like this unique perspective and this unique look at uh, one of the things that we get to do uh, with our jobs, uh, connecting on a whole other level today. Instead of being in a classroom or at a summer camp or at a library, we're actually at the state capitol connecting with legislators. Uh, there was a small chance that the governor would show up. Uh, he was unable. And that's kind of a bummer, but you know what? I'll take the visitors that we got because they were all very special, very cool people. So guys, that is it. We are done for the day and I'm headed home. The live bugs are probably needing a break. Um, we're going to be back at it again real soon. We got some programs coming up. So stay with me, man. There's going to be more videos dropping, but at least this is a really unique one, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, man. Take care. Ryan and Bugman, we're out. Hey folks, be sure you like and subscribe to what's going on here. If you like this channel, then tap that subscribe button and let us know how much you appreciate it. Get in on some of the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel and offer whatever support you can because we always appreciate everything our fans are doing for us. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Take care.